Hello. Today, I am going to be talking about communication and reporting internally and externally in your organization. So there are two types of ways you're going to write a report. You need to write a report in terms of how you're going to communicate internally and how you're going to communicate externally. The first thing that you need to do when you're reporting internally is having a conversation within your organization talking about the activities that are happening within the week or within the month. So if each and every department or program area is sending you a report, let them talk about the activities that happened within that week or within that month, the type of programming that happened, the type of activities that occurred, any press clippings that may have covered that um, activity or that event. You need to have all that within your organization. If your administrator is talking about the activities that happened within the organization, especially with regards to um, how many people came to work, um, whether the, the generator needed diesel, um, which kind of bills needs to be paid within the organization, that conversation can also be had as well. Make sure all this information is given to your deputy so that your deputy provides some sort of dashboard of the status in your organization within a snapshot. Because with that way, you can make certain strategic decisions. Which activities need to be more prominent based on the, the kind of donor that is funding it? Which um, type of activity needs more funding and more resources? So you need to really figure out where you need to allocate resources and where you need to pull out resources, which is in line with the strategic mandate of the board and what you promised your donor. So you have so many things on the fire, so your internal reporting needs to keep you in the know of everything that is happening within the organization and also keep checks and balances so that it avoids you being a bottleneck within your organization. There are great executive directors around, but they tend to be bottlenecks in terms of this cannot happen except for the executive director's approval. And when that happens, it slows the progress of the organization. So make sure you have the right balance of leadership and delegation so that things can move forward within your organization. External reporting. External reporting, you're going to be reporting to some key strategic stakeholders. One, your board of directors. Two, the general public. And three, uh, your donors. So if you're going to be communicating, there needs to be various templates. Donors have a specific template in terms of how they want their reporting done. They may say, OK, these were the objectives. These are the activities. And here, here are pictures showing proof of the activities and actually uh, um, press clippings in terms of how these activities were communicated to the public. The board, the board of directors, you need to have a board packet. That needs to be prepared quarterly or biannually based on um, how many board meetings you have every year. If you have three meetings within a year, if you have two, that needs to be um, allocated in your reporting. Okay. So the executive director's report most of the times in board meetings are in word format and in the, in the presentation format in a PowerPoint. That is how you're going to be re reporting to your board. Sometimes you also have um, monthly board updates. So that can also be sent to your board once a month that keeps them updated on what is going on prior to the board meeting as well. In addition to that, when you're reporting to the public, ensure you have newsletters. Do you have a monthly newsletter that you're sending to the public, letting them know what is happening with your organization? What this does, it gives you brand ambassadors. It even attracts volunteers to come and identify with your organization. And it also increases your mailing list as well. So these are the three buckets of people that you need to have external reporting, your board, the public, and your donors, OK? If you have any questions about how you're going to be reporting in your organization, you can reach out to me on my website, www.socialimpactng.com. 
I look forward to hearing from you in the next video. Take care.